Hi everyone and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Guess what's coming up in July? Hilton Head Jazz Camp and we have the camp director with us, James Berry, and it's your 13th year. Yes. You were just telling me that the first year you had how many students? We only had nine students our first nine. year. Last year, 80. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it takes support to be able to put this on. So Absolutely. before we talk about the need, mm -hmm. let's talk about the what. Mm -hmm. So what is the camp? Uh, basically, it's a week-long uh, intensive uh, music experience for high school students. Um, we have big bands, combos, theory, master classes, electives. Um, we have some specialized programs for vocalists and strings, along with our traditional big band curriculum, and it's, it's just so much fun. And you bring professionals in from all over the country Absolutely. to be the, the teachers or the instructors. Mm -hmm. right. We have 18 full-time faculty that come from all over the country. Some have been Grammy-nominated. It's just awesome for the students to get to work with them. And it is July the 8th through the 13th. Mm -hmm. um, and it supports the, the Jazz Foundation, right? The Junior Jazz Foundation. Mm -hmm. So explain what that is. So the Junior Jazz Foundation, um, this is the organization whose aim is to preserve this art form of jazz. And this is their main educational outreach, is this program. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been important uh, to gain support from um, the Junior Jazz Foundation for our scholarship program. Uh, now for our lodging, our dining, a lot of the special right. artists and residents that we bring in. Because the students do come from all over the country as well, and they, they need a place to stay, and of course the food, so there are a lot of expenses. Absolutely, yeah. Inflation's you know, hit us pretty hard, as it has a lot of people and, and, with, and other camps, and instead of really uh, wanting to raise tuition a lot, um, we're very interested in gaining support, uh, specific support, for our students to really make it accessible for everybody. And can you can it be individual support? So a couple or individual can can give, and also companies or businesses, correct? Absolutely, you can earmark it um, for perhaps a half scholarship, or if you want to sponsor okay. something larger, like the dining, or some of the okay. faculty lodging. Um, everything helps. So you can actually designate where Absolutely. you want. Either you just give for the to the camp, or you can say, I'd like to support one particular student, or or half of their. Time here. Exactly. If you're passionate about a certain area of the camp, you can earmark it for that. Um, if you go to HH Jazz Camp forward slash giving, you can um, earmark a specific area um, of the camp that you'd like to support. And back to the foundation, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about the foundation and why and how you got involved with that and why it's so important. So I started uh, playing at the Jazz Corner um, right. it's around uh, 2015 and was already doing the camp and the foundation was a big part of that in supporting us and um, they do a lot of things. Uh, we have an instrument donation program, right. school grant program, a college scholarship program. Um, what's been awesome over the years is to see the students who have come to camp really be supported all the way through college and even into college as they uh, pursue their music career. So is it under the Jazz Corner? Is it part of Jazz Corner? Uh, the Jazz Foundation is a separate nonprofit, okay, okay. Um, but they have several initiatives, and the camp is one of those major educational one initiatives. One of the major educational initiatives. Absolutely. So again, the camp is going to, it's held um, over at the Christian Academy, Hilton Head Christian Academy, and it's going to be middle of July. And we'll, when next time you're back, we'll talk about the students and the recruitment of students. But today we're really talking about support, and, and we need local and you know regional support for really to make this happen. Absolutely, we have students that truly come from every background. We want to be able to offer scholarships, uh, both financially and merit-based scholarships, so that students that come locally or nationally um, can be at the camp and make it accessible for everybody. Last year we covered it, mm -hmm. and it was amazing to see some of the students that come back, and from other states. Mm -hmm. I mean. How many states were represented last year? I, I don't. I think we had 12 to 13 states last year. Uh, we've already had a student this year um, from Oregon yes. uh, register, so that's always exciting to see students come from all over the country and come here. And through these 13 years, it's really can step by step continue to grow and become nationally recognized. Would uh, you say? Uh, I think so. I mean, <laughs> it's hard to say that, uh, but it's always. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is, James. <laughs> It's always uh, neat to see neat. students um, spread the word um, at their schools. Uh, word of mouth has definitely been the best advertising for us. It was so inspiring to be there to watch them practice mm -hmm. and um, be involved and get to know each other and learn from each other and mm -hmm. particularly from the instructors and, and the professionals that are there. So thank you again, Thanks James for having Barry, me. who is the camp director for Hilton Head Jazz Camp that will be this July. So if you want to support any way you can, you can just go to the website, which is hhjazzcamp.com. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, James.